We start the second video. This is video number two for the first paper that I am posting today for IGCSE 0610 biology syllabus. And this is the second video we run one, the first one which has questions 1 to 26. Uh, this video we start with question number 27. Oxen is a chemical produced by plants. It controls plant growth. Which statement about plant about oxen is correct? Oxen affects the cells only where it is made. Oxen is equally distributed in response to light from one direction. No, it is the other way around. It is, it's, a, it's away from the light has more, so it has the cells elongate. And so, of course, it the shoot bends, grows towards light. Grows, doesn't bend, sorry. Bend is the wrong word. Grows towards light. Oxen elongates the cells in the shoot tip. No, oxen diffuses down from the shoot tip. So oxygen is uh, oxygen is made in the shoot tip. So this was correct. D was correct. Please revise this if you are not clear on this. Question number 28. How do some antibiotics kill bacteria? You, you take vibramycin, you take augmentin, you take ciproxin. Why does it kill bacteria? Why does it not kill your body cells? Why does it not damage your body cells when you take augmentin or ciproxin? Because the bacteria has a cell wall and they will, uh, how do some antibiotics kill bacteria? They damage the cell wall. Now, all these things, of course, endoplasmic reticulum is not present in bacteria. Nucleus is not present in bacteria. And the protein coat is not present in bacteria that is present in a virus. So if you knew that, you would have figured this out, that it could be the cell wall is only bacteria have a cell wall, which is made up of peptidoglycan, and then they have a cell membrane inside it which is very closely applied to the cell wall. And then they have cytoplasm. And then they have a loop of DNA. And they may or may not have small circle DNA, which are called plasmids. Then question number 29. Some statements about asexual reproduction are listed. Offsprings are genetically identical. Offsprings are genetically different. Mm, only one parent is required. Two parents are required. Now the answer, you see, here, this was correct, this was wrong. So asexual reproduction is when you just put a cutting or a stem and then it's like sugar cane is planted by asexual reproduction. You take sugar cane, chop it up into pieces and you just put bits of sugar cane in the soil, water it and it start to grow. So asexual reproduction. Offsprings are genetically identical and only one parent is required and they're not different. So this was the difference between sexual and asexual reproduction. Then coming on to question number 30. Which types of contact between humans can spread HIV? Which types of contact between humans? So blood transfusion, sexual intercourse. So it was only one and two saliva was wrong. Then question number 31. Which method of birth control works by preventing an egg from being released? So you know there's the ovary and from the ovary the egg is released which is called ovulation. So the egg from the ovary is released and that's called ovulation. Now of course uh, it would be the contraceptive pill but why not condom? You say condoms only prevent the sperms from entering the female tract. Monitoring body temperatures you can just gauge it that when ovulation is going to occur and then you will avoid sexual intercourse. The vasectomy is when the sperm ducts are cut and that's a surgical procedure in which uh, sperm ducts are cut so that the sperms cannot enter the female tract and so there will be no pregnancy as a form of birth control. So now here they didn't ask you that. They said which method of birth control works by preventing an egg from being released it means we are going to prevent ovulation. So we would give the woman hormones, which are called contraceptive pills, which contain estrogen and progesterone. And that, of course, makes the, uh, so no FSH release, no LH. And so there's going to be no ovulation. No ova is going to be formed, so there's going to be no ovulation. So this was question number 31. Then coming on to question number 32. What is defined as a thread-like structure of DNA carrying genetic information in the form of genes? Now, allele is an alternative form of a gene, like alleles for blood group are IB, IA, and IO. So the human beings have three different alleles. 
the answer was chromosome but why was protein protein is not protein is not a thread like structure of dna carrying genetic information can't be protein yes dna codes for a protein and zygote is the cell which has been formed by sec in sexual reproduction when the sperm and the ovum fuse then coming on to question number 33 These statements describe steps in protein synthesis. Copies of the gene are carried to the cytoplasm as mRNA molecules. Each ribosome assembles amino acids into a protein molecule. The gene coding for a protein is copied in the nucleus. So this is a cell. This is the nucleus and here we have the DNA. Right? Now this DNA is a double-stranded DNA. So first of all, it unzips, and then of course, what happens is that one of it is copied, and this copying is called mRNA, and then this mRNA leaves the nucleus, and then it goes and attaches to the ribosome, and then this mRNA is translated into a protein. and this protein is made which i am going to show in green so it was three the gene coding for a protein is copied in the nucleus this was the first thing then it was one copies of the gene are carried to the cytoplasm as mrna molecules then four the mrna molecules passes through ribosomes and then it was to each ribosome assembles amino acids into a protein molecule so this was a very good revision of your protein synthesis that first of all it was the gene coding for a protein is copied in the nucleus so this is the this is the gene you see because that gene which contains this information cannot leave the nucleus it has to stay there so what is going to copy it is going to be the mrna molecule so this is the mrna molecule which has copied this is just like i have a recipe for a chocolate cake when you come to my place and you just copy that recipe but i can't give you my book or my uh, whatever i have the file in which i have the recipy so the mrna is cop uh, copies that genetic information and then it is goes out of the nucleus and then it goes and attaches on the ribosome and here the amino acids are put together the amino acids are put together and you form this protein molecule which i have shown in green so 3142 so this was the revision of this thing then coming on to 34 a sunflower has 17 chromosomes in each pollen nucleus these nuclei are produced by the process of one in the anthers and that had to be meiosis by because anthers is where the male gametes are formed and we all know that in the anthers meiosis has to take place so it could have been either a or b mitosis cannot take place when gametes are being formed and pollen is the male gamete they are genetically identical all the pollen nuclei are produced by those anthers after fertilization the resulting zygote will have naturally 17 in the male gamete and 17 in the female gamete will fuse and the zygote will have 34 so this is what you had to understand so number 2 was they are genetically different all the, no they are genetically different from nuclei produced by these anthers after fertilization the resulting zygote will have 34 so why are they genetically different because you see you see they said these nuclei are produced by the process of meiosis in the anthers and they are genetically different from all the pollen nuclei produced by these anthers you see there is going to be different alleles will go into the genetic the genetic information will different alleles will go because one of each pair is going to go so which pair is gone so they are genetically different from all the pollen nuclei produced by those anthers and after fertilization of course then it's 34 so you are going to be confusing between a and b all the pollen are not identical because which allele has gone into the pollen so this was a difficult question unless you understood this part of genetics this was not going to be easy for you why is it different because all the pollen are not going to different just like a couple a husband and wife have four sons and why are all the sons different because genetic information different alleles went into them and different the information in the zygotes were different then coming on to question number 35 
Question 35, a man heterozygous for the sickle cell allele has children with a woman who is homozygous for the normal HbA, HbA. Now, what is the probability that the first child will be resistant to malaria? Whether it's the first or the second child, that's immaterial. The fact is that you know this is these are the ones who are resistant to malaria. So there are two out of four. So one out of two means 0.5 percent. So 0.5 percent there is a chance of the first child being resistant to malaria. There's a 0.5 percent, one out of two. Two, because these two, these are of course, these people will suffer from malaria and they will die from malaria because of the normal hemoglobin. So these people will probably not live long because if they're living in a country like Africa where malaria is common. Question number 36. Which leaf eater is an adaptation of zero fights to their environment? So here surrounding the stomata was correct, but why was these correct? Large internal hollow spaces. Now that's no, that's not, that's in hydrophytes. Large number of stomata would of course result in a lot of water, water loss by transpiration. Xerophytes are those which they survive in deserts where there's very little water and thin cuticle on both surfaces. No, they have thick cuticle because that is how it prevents the cuticular transpiration. Then coming on to question number 37, the graph shows the changes in population of an organism over time in an ecosystem. So time, population, and there are three areas, X where it's increasing, Y where it has plateaued, and Z where the population is decreasing. So you can easily put some figures here, say this was 100, and then it's gone up to say 1000, and then it stays 1000, and then again it starts to decrease to say about 10 here. Which row correctly identifies each phase of the population growth? As we all know, the X phase is the exponential or the log phase. And then the Y phase is the stationary phase in which it remains, it plateaus, this part. So it means the number is remaining the same. Then the number of dying and the number of birth is equal. So if 100 are being produced, 100 are dying, so the number remains the same. And then in Z, you can see the number is decreasing. So this is now the death phase. More dying, say 100 dying, only 5 being born. So the numbers are decreasing. So exponential phase, stationary phase, and the death phase. So you have to know the names of these different phases of the growth population gro graph each phase of the population graph. 38, the diagram shows the structure of a bacterium. Now, you, as you know, I just talked about it. Cell wall would be this, and then the cell membrane, cytoplasm, and this would be the circular DNA. Now, it says the presence of structure X is one reason why bacteria are used in genetic engineering. What is structure X? Now, we all know it is a plasmid. Please remember there is no nucleus in a bacteria, there are no mitochondrion in a bacteria, there are no chloroplast in a bacteria. Bacteria is a prokaryote, it does not have any membrane bound organelles and nucleus, mitochondria and chloroplast are membrane bound organelles. 39. When nitrates enter a lake, they cause rapid growth of algae. Algae is unicellular plants on the surface of the water. The, uh, this causes the following changes in the lake. The concentration of dissolved oxygen in the water decreases, fish and other aquatic die, aerobic respiration in decomposers increase, producers die and decomposition increases. Now in which order do these, now I would have sort of figured it out, I would sort of say okay fish and other aquatic and animals, that's the end result. So two was the last and this is the only one in which two is the last. Because you see, you had to figure out producers die and decomposition. You see, the algae form a thick layer, then some of the algae start to die because they don't get enough light or they're not enough animals to eat them. So the algae die, so that is the producers, die and they come to the fall to the bottom of the pond. 
And this, of course, results in the bacteria aerobically respiring because there's not a lot of dead uh, organic matter. And then the concentration resolved. Why? Because the bacterial number increases and the bacteria aerobically respire using up the oxygen of the water. And that, of course, results in the death of the fish and other aquatic animals. So it's, that's why it's called BOD, biochemical oxygen demand. More the pollution, more the biochemical oxygen, more the bacteria, more they aerobically respire, more they use up the oxygen. Now coming to the last question, you know this was a 40 minute, 45 minute exam, so you needed to be very quick in it and you needed not be, you know, sort of contemplating and thinking a lot and you needed to do this a little faster. So question number 40, the action of which type of bacteria would cause soil to be lacking in nitrates? You know the nitrogen cycle, there's one which are the enemies of farmers and those are the denitrifying bacteria. And these denitrifying bacteria live in waterlogged soils. And they convert the nitrates, they, the nitrates in the soil, NO3 in the soil, is converted to nitrogen gas and goes back into the air. Now nitrogen is of no use to the plant. So that's why these denitrifying bacteria are called the enemies of farmers. If you haven't revised this, please revise the ecology chapter from the videos which I have posted quite some time ago. Uh, on ecology so revise that if you are having trouble with the nitrogen cycle because there has to be a question on the nitrogen cycle and you to be knowing this uh, include this first and this video contains question 27 to question 40 and I've tried to explain them and if you have any problems please uh, write down in the comments below and let me know if there are any issues which we need to be addressed and maybe we can make some more videos on this till your exams at the end of July. And thank you very much for watching these videos.